Hello everyone, Mr. Schultz here for Integrated Math 1, and we're dealing with 11.1b, angles and congruence, so part 2 of it. So we're going to be talking about vertical angles and angle pairs. So three adjacent angles, that means angles that are next to, so adjacent equals next to. So I'd say angle MSQ and angle QSR. And I would say, so that's, that's one pair. Now I have to do another pair. Well, we have to do three, but I'm going to do one more for you. I say MQN, MQN and angle NQR. So now what you have to do is you have to find another pair that are adjacent or two angles that are right next to each other. So now question 13, name three vertical angles. Well, vertical angles are across from two lines. So for example, these right here are vertical angles. They are across or across like that. So we just find two lines that cross each other and be like, all right, here and here. So angle MQN and angle SQR. Those are two angles that are vertical, meaning they're across. Two lines that intersect. Now, the other thing that we're going to talk about are vertical angles are congruent. So, let's do one more. I would say angle QRS. So, angle QRS so right, this one, and I would say PRT right here. So angle PRT, those two angles are vertical. Now there is actually one more vertical angle that are that is congruent, two vertical angles that are congruent, and I'll let you guys find that out. Now question 14, find the measure of SUV. So SUV right here. They're asking, hey, how much is this? Well, if we've already done this, we understand what is a straight angle. A straight angle is equal to 180, degree, 180 degrees. Well, we have 58 degrees right here. We do 180 minus 58 to figure out, hey, angle, the measure of angle SUV is equal to 30 well, not 32, 22. So let's erase that. 22 degrees. All right, let's continue. So when we're doing these type of problems, we have to figure out what is the relationship and what can we actually write down? So on question 15 right here, we understand, hey, these two vertical angles are congruent. So I could be like, hey, look, 120 degrees is equal to 2x minus 10 degrees. And then I would solve for x. I'll go ahead and figure that out. Now for number 16, you actually have to like solve for x right here. You kind of have to do it. That's it. Now for 16 here, it's not they are not equal, but they make a straight angle. So we understand that 2x plus 4x plus 108 is equal to 180 degrees because those two angles put together make a line, a straight line. So it's a straight angle, which is equal to 180 degrees. So now in this case, you put the x's together and then solve for x and figure out what is x. So this last one, we see that hey, we want we want to solve for 
each of the variables. So first thing we'd want to do is solve for the x's by doing the vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. And then once we figure that out, we can figure out, hey, these two added together are equal to 180 degrees. So what's y equal to? All right, guys, this one's a short one today, but I believe in you, and I'll see you guys in class. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.